conversation with character to reflect on my past to present aware of character defects. I'm sorry. The passion, the power, the purpose of unwoven recovery, unity, service, one year token. The most prestigious network in the land. This is Characterized It. You already know, Character Did It. I am here with Matt Duncan. Tell us about yourself. What do you do? I am a cliff diver. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Jumper, you know, whatever you want to call it. How old are you? I am 19. You're 19? Damn, you look older than that. Yeah. Where are you from? From upstate New York. All right. Near Albany, that area. All right, so man, tell me, tell me about coming up. How'd you end up doing cliff diving at 19 years old? So when I was like 13, so actually it's pretty funny. Originally, my parents never let me get a trampoline because uh, it was too dan too dangerous. They wouldn't even. Swear <laughs> to God, they wouldn't take me to a trampoline park because it was too dangerous. And then uh, after about two years of just <laughs> getting into it, I would do like shit on my mattresses. And after about two years of just flipping on my mattresses and talking with them, I convinced them to buy not only a trampoline, but the best trampoline available. So, <laughs> and, and then I was going to like other states to play because I was like still young enough to where they controlled what I had to do. So I was going to other states to jump on trampolines <laughs> and all this shit after they never like really let me uh, go on trampoline. So I, I whittled them down and then, um, I just got super into trampoline and then I learned a bunch of flips. And then as I got older, I got like heavier and it's kind of a, it's a, a little bit of a sport for like, you know, like very like slim guys, like little younger kids. Like you don't see a lot of older people doing trampoline. So, um, actually I met a buddy, his name's Noah mouth. Shout him out real quick. He uh, showed up to my buddy's house when we were doing trampoline. He's like, oh, I'm a cliff diver. I was like, that's it? Like only cliff diving? Like like you got a whole community of people who only jump off cliffs? Because I would do it from time to time, but only like as an extension of the trampoline stuff. So I was like, oh, like you, you got a whole community of people who only cliff dive? He's like, yeah, dude. And I was like, all right, that's weird. And then like a year later, I, I was like, all right, I can't really do the tricks that I used to be able to do because I was like 160, like 160 right. pounds when I was doing all that. And then I got up to like 225 or something because I'm like, I'm a little taller now. I'm a little bit heavier. And I was like, can't really do this. And then I started watching his videos. I was like, oh, shit. Like, you can <laughs> do, like, there's a whole bunch of people who jump off cliffs. And you don't really need to have like, you don't need to be that like slim and quick to do this. You can just be. I mean, you see like fat people jumping off cliffs. So like, doesn't matter who you are, you can be cliff jumping. It's all about like setting it and having fun. So I was like, all right, this is pretty cool. And I just got in it through there. So is there like, is there a way to make money cliff diving? There is, it's just very rare. So there's a few, a few ways of uh, making money, uh, even though they're very hard to get my one uh, one buddy I know works for like uh, Disney World or Disneyland or whatever one's in Florida where he like gets launched off the Russian swing. <laughs> so like, yeah, like that's that's the first way to make money is like doing shows for kids at Disney World. But I don't know how much you make. You got to work for Disney and be at Disney every day. Yeah, that's that's an issue. <laughs> that's a lot of like travel time and stuff so like that. Um, then there's like, if you want to be like a circus type of person, I know another okay. people who work for like traveling circuses or something where they'll jump off the, uh, like the big posts into like a small yeah. to make like money. Uh, so those don't really pay that well, but then I know a few people you can make money just by posting videos like the same way, like any other, like influencer, like YouTube type shit like that. But cliff jumping kind of blows up on a lot of lot of different platforms well and i also i feel like it's becoming a bigger thing and and it's just kind of in its like infant stages as far as what it could become on yeah. oh absolutely uh, specifically like death diving too i don't know if, if you've seen that at all what it's is what that? it's like uh there's a, a big wave of like jumping like you're gonna do a belly flop and at the last second oh uh, is that what <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's, they call it Dodds over in, I think, just anywhere in Europe, I think they call it Dodds. Okay. Uh, 
but that's been blowing up crazy on Instagram recently. Uh, I'm not on like Facebook or anything, but I know at least on Instagram, it's kind of blowing up. So that's definitely like, the, I, I see nothing blow up more than that. Like I see it on world star the time, all the time. Uh, like when I was doing trampoline, nobody cared about that. But now that I'm clipped <laughs> up on world star, it's like post my stuff, like cliff jumping and death diving is just through the roof. Blown For up. Sure. I feel like Red Bull would sponsor a cliff diver. They do, yeah. Okay, okay. Yep, cliff divers and like, it, it's like base jumpers who also cliff dive. So you learn the fundamentals of the flipping and the move, because I've seen your videos and you do do some crazy shit jumping off of these cliffs and you've learned all that from the trampoline? Yeah, yeah, I, I would not be able to do any of that if weren't for trampolines. Um, a lot of the guys, they, they learn it on the cliffs and you can tell because <laughs> you'll see them a million videos of them just fucking themselves up like <laughs> going for the going for the flip and not doing it but then they they learn it but luckily like trampoline kind of like it was a safer place to learn the sure. tricks themselves you know where do you find the cliffs i mean is upstate new york just packed full of cliffs or do you go to one place i'm driving two three hours uh four times a week during the summer wow. five times a week just constant road trips uh <laughs> definitely a lot of driving but it's good because um it's also a free sport so like it's a lot of money for gas but in reality like you're doing a free sport like you're going somewhere right. you're basically doing the same thing as hiking except you're hurling yourself off 70 foot cliffs but right you don't have to pay 150 to play 18 holes of golf golf when yeah. you get there yeah for sure yeah. and like instead of going out to dinner all the time i'm like all right spend my money on gas and then like i'd rather sit off the edge of a cliff eating like a sandwich than go to a steakhouse i mean oh, i do yeah. like steak, but... <laughs> yeah. don't get me wrong i'll go to steakhouse yeah. too. <laughs> yeah so tell me about the community oh it's the greatest group of people you ever meet in your life uh I, that's why I'm so, I'm so upset that like the general population isn't jumping off cliffs every day and it sounds <laughs> dumb, but like the people you meet they're like you ever have that one friend who's just like yeah I'll do it like we'll just do anything and it's just hilarious because you get to make fun of them or like whatever they're like they're, they're they'll get drunk and <laughs> do stupid shit it's just a community full of those people <laughs> pretty much like they're all the the drunk one in the friend group like that's that's everyone they're just they'll do anything it's but they're not like reckless like we're all very safe and like i've had experiences where i'll meet somebody for the first time or i'll be with people where they met somebody for the first time and somebody will get like a little hurt off a cliff and instantly every single person who's there even if they've never never met them they'll all jump in the water try to save them like pick them up like they'll risk their lives to save the guy that they just met it's just like the most genuine people um and they're like they don't care about like they don't care who you are like i've met so many different types of people through cliff jumping like it's definitely like the most diverse group of people because you got people like pat who are like 39 years old like <laughs> shout out jump life shout out jump life yep. Yep, jump light and Cuzzo, uh, yep. Jeff, who's, he's, I think he's like 50. How no, did you not. meet them? Uh, Pat just texted me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's the story of it. Cause that's how it works. Like cliff jumping, like you trust everybody who jumps off cliffs because it's such a niche <laughs> group that Pat will text, like Pat texted me and, uh, and he texts a mile a minute, by the way. Like, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> He, he is he's a fast texter i don't know but all of a sudden i open my phone it's like 70 texts from this bad guy I'm like, I'm about this and i was reading through his text and i was like hey i want to jump with him so after like a year of texting with him because i he started texting me during winter so like that's we, we still jump in winter but not as much after a year i was like yo dude come up to new york so he drove uh he didn't even know where he was going he drove up three hours to new york and i was like all right we're going, follow me. <laughs> and that took a little bunch of stories and we've just been jumping ever since. But yeah, you meet people like, cause I'm 19. So I'll hang out with like, like 40 year old right. cliff jumpers and then like 16 year old kids who are just getting into it. So like you meet the most diverse group of people. It's just awesome. Cause it, it connects everybody. It's definitely like a very, a very cool hobby very cool community. Like nothing, nothing beats it for sure. It's like skateboarding except like 
better, I think. <laughs> per <laughs> For sure, man. And, and like you said, it's a more niche thing right now. So you, the community's tighter by being smaller. Yeah. So, and you what, don't have to be like, like you kind of got to have like a little thing in you, the cliff jump, like anybody can pick up like a skateboard or like a baseball or basketball. It's like the cliff jump and like, you know, if you're hanging out with a cliff jumper, you're kind of like, this guy's kind of a maniac. And you also <laughs> got to walk a lot to get to the cliff. Yeah. So that's a commitment sure. right there. Yep. A lot of hikers. Tell me, like, usually I'd ask people about their, like, biggest accomplishments in their, their field, but really I don't think it's the word is accomplishments, but, like, there's got to be some really great stories you have from your Tom Cliff jumping. Yeah, it's just, um, I mean, really, like, a lot of, like, once you get more used to it, a lot of, like, the lower stuff is pretty easy, you know, like, it's not scary every time, but the first time doing a certain height or a certain trick is definitely like a very, very scary, like full, like, well, I love cliff jumping because you can have anything going on in your life. Like your wife left you, like whatever it is, you're bankrupt, whatever's going on. You, the second you leave that cliff, everything is just, you're focused on hitting the water, right? And everything leaves. And you know that once you do it and you come up, Everybody around you is just hooting and hollering for <laughs> basically the stupidest thing ever. You're just jumping off things. Like it's a stupid sport. It really is. <laughs> it's like it's, it's like, and I've seen a lot of buddies. Um, I, it was something that stood out to me. Uh, my buddy Travis. Shout out to Travis Sims. He uh, when we were at this one bridge, it was 83 feet, gigantic. And after he he hits his jump. Um, he comes out of the water. He goes, this is such a stupid sport. <laughs> and <laughs> like, yeah, you're right. Like when you get out of the water, like usually I would be like, yeah, like screaming, hooting and hollering. And I'll only really think of that. But after the second he gets out of the water, one of the first things he says, this is such a stupid sport. I'm like, <laughs> like, yeah, I can't deny it. I can't. <laughs> um, but I mean, like big, like big accomplishments, just getting higher heights, really like, yeah. um, I did a a trick off of a crane at this place we call Centerland or Dirtbag Disneyland we call it, <laughs> and uh, just I did, like I learned that trick the day I did it, and I learned it off like thirty ish feet. Like I could do it on trampoline, but I never did it off a cliff. I did it off the thirty feet, then I did it off fifty, and then I did it off seventy. Oof. And I've been drinking all day because it's it's <laughs> Centerland, like that's what you do. And I just did it, and I was like. That experience was definitely like top experiences cliff jumping wise. Hell yeah. For sure. Hell yeah. What about obstacles that you got to overcome doing all this? Um, I mean, fear, obviously. Yeah. It's just fear. Um, and knowing when to like say, I'm not going to do this. Because as much as we're all like, yeah, fuck it, like we'll send whatever, like, you definitely like knowing when to say, yeah, I can't do this. It's it, it's very tough because um, everybody around you is like, yeah, you can do it. Because, I mean, they don't care as much if you get hurt. Right. As you right. Do. right. Obviously, they don't want you to get hurt, but they have much more confidence. Yeah, in like you. you're, you're not doing it, though. You're not doing yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, like getting over the like deciding, can I do this? And is this just fear telling me I can't do it? Or is it something I genuinely shouldn't be trying and I could get hurt doing? Yeah. Um, a lot of that has to do with like the takeoffs. Like if there's a slippery takeoff, you're like, oh, can I slip before doing this? Because you can't do that. Um, before like a new trick, you'll be like, can I? Do I know what I'm doing? Am I scared because I'm like because it's new and it's something that I can do once I beat the fear? Or is it something that I? can't do and this is the fear telling me hey don't do this you're gonna get hurt True. you know so it's it's hard to tell the difference and a lot of the times there'll be situations where i know i can do something and i'll be like oh no i i shouldn't do this because i'm gonna get hurt and there'll be other times where i know i can't do something but i'm like oh that's just fear telling me that i can't do it like i can do it and i end up getting hurt so like <laughs> determining one of those two is which, which side of the voice it is <laughs> yeah it's like an angel and a devil and usually the ain't uh i don't know which one would be the devil the devil's jumping off the cliff <laughs> usually they win <laughs> usually the devil ends have you seen anyone get really hurt 
Um, I haven't seen any. Uh, there are also a lot of tough motherfuckers in the clip jumping. <laughs> I've seen people do things that should kill them and then be semi okay. Uh, but I never saw anybody get like so hurt to where they're like going to the hospital. I mean, maybe go to the hospital, but not like can't walk again after. Um, my buddy Max, Max Bothwell, he's flopped a lot because he didn't start with the trampoline, so he learns new tricks <laughs> off lifts and gets messed up all the time. Uh, the worst injury I saw, uh, this guy Cam, his name's Cam B. I don't know what his actual last name is, but he was at that Centerland place and he did a double gainer off a 93 foot crane. And um, I know a lot of people like when they go to cliff jump spots, like, oh, this is 70 feet. And it's usually like 30 feet. People don't really, it's hard to tell the height. Yeah. Um, so 93 feet is what most people would consider like 180 feet. Like it's it's a lot higher than you'd think. And he did a double gainer and uh, he landed right on his face. Oh. So that was, yeah, right on his face. That was probably the worst flop I've ever seen. Because uh, I mean, I've never seen any flops higher than that. And do you that get was, like black eyes from that? He came out of the water instantly with two black eyes. Wow. Probably later broke his the, nose, some shit. Like I don't know what he did. I think he broke his orbital bone, actually. Oh. But like literally an hour later, he was outside shooting off fireworks. So that's why I say like the cliff jumping wow. people are just like lunatics. Like they'll get really hurt and then just get out of the water and be like, hell yeah, man. Like <laughs> it's, it's like it's a fun community to be around. <laughs> that's man. crazy, bro. That's crazy. What is why send it? Why do you all say send it? Um. It's a good question. <laughs> well, so we need something to yell before you before you do it. I think send it was the move. Uh, it's just like, like oh, you're sending it, you know, like you're you're sending yourself. I guess it means yourself or <laughs> the trick. So we just go three, two, one, send it, and then a. I think it's mostly because about the time we finish extending the it word, we're in the water. <laughs> so it, it, it relays perfectly into the yes. <laughs> yeah. fair, fair enough. Like, that's pretty much why. Do you have plans? Like, do you have a dream with cliff diving? Oh, absolutely. I, I'm also like a realist. So I know like chances are I'm not going to like raise a family jumping off the <laughs> That would be pretty rare if, um, oh, Susie, what's your dad do? Oh, he's a cliff jumper. That's why I live in the house I live in. But, um, no, I, I would love to just, honestly, a big thing. So I'm in college right now. I go to Siena uh, in, in New York. And one of the, so like I'm, I'm in for marketing and I have like a plan. Like I don't want to do a nine to five, but I want to find something to do. But, um, if I could, I would love to like be poor and live in a van and drive around <laughs> jumping off cliffs. Like you should spend be, your twenties doing that, bro. You should that's definitely what I spend your 20s. Yeah. But at the same time, I got a girlfriend who's very smart and she's gonna be like an OT and she's going to her master's. So she's gonna I don't wanna make less money than her, so that's why I'm kinda got my plan. <laughs> so yeah, like uh, in reality. I'm probably, it's probably not gonna be a job, but I would love it to be. Or like if I could just like randomly blow up and have my living be made off of like just posting what I love doing, like cliff jumping and traveling, that would be absolutely 10 out of 10 bucket list thing for sure. No but, doubt, bro. Hey man, take that van, drive around uh, the country yeah. and, and post and you'll get there, bro. You'll get sponsors, you'll get people. Very fun. It'd be very fun. You make real uh, money doing that. That's the wave of the future. Yep. Yeah. I got a couple buddies doing it. Uh, they're definitely living the dream, but it's like, a, it's one of those rare things, you know? Sure. Like, I can't bank on that. I can't be like, yeah, I'm going to uh, grow up and be a professional cliff diver who just drives me out, jumps off cliffs and makes a living. You know, <laughs> like, you can't do that. <laughs> I feel you, bro. I feel you, man. All right. Before we end it, is there any kind of life advice that you would have for anybody watching? absolutely um do what you want to do you know so a, like a big thing about like when you're doing flips on a trampoline like so trampoline taught me more than uh like cliff diving did where like if something you you do is perceived as weird 
you know, because that's usually what it was uh, when I was in like middle school or high school. It was like kids would be like, oh, I'm Matt Duncan. I'm breaking my neck on a trampoline, like just joking about it. And I never really I never really cared that much. Like, All right, whatever. I'm having fun. Like, you're kind of lame for making fun of that. But um, I know a lot of people that like have something that they want to do and they won't end up doing it because they think, oh, like, like people are going to make fun of me or whatever. If you just do what you want to do and you have fun doing it and you kind of like take it to the extreme and you push yourself and you keep doing what you want to do, eventually those people who are making fun of you are going to be like, hey, all right, this is this guy knows what he wants. I'm sitting here. I got time to make fun of people. Clearly, I don't have something going on, you know, and eventually as I continued cliff jumping and or as I continued trampoline morphed into cliff jumping, those same people were like, Hey, can I come with you? Yeah, you know, like yeah. can I come? You got you want to teach me a backflip or something? Like no, <laughs> like I mean, yeah, I would have like, talked to you on the you. damn trampoline. <laughs> exactly, like should have talked to me when I was seven, jumping on a trampoline, <laughs> making fun. <laughs> but no, absolutely, I would say just like if you enjoy doing something, there's people who will also enjoy doing that at some point. Find them. You don't even really need to look. Like some of my best friends just kind of like text me, like Pat. Like, you don't have to look. Like, people will just randomly text you, like, hey, you're doing what I like doing. Let's become friends. And it's that easy. If you enjoy something, you have a passion for something, it could be Rubik's Cubes, Pokemon, cliff jumping, flips, like the weirdest shit you can think of. It can be like anything. And there's also people who want to do that. You'll find those people or they'll find you. And you're going to be so happy you did because the experiences I made, like back in high school, everybody would be playing a sport and like want it'll be like oh you don't play a sport like what, what's up with that i have way more memories and way better experiences just jumping off cliffs and being stupid with my friends than if i spent every day after school like throwing a football around at practice you know like do those niche things that you enjoy for sure that's Hell that's yeah. That's my advice. No, that's great <laughs> advice, and it was a point well proven too. Like it was, that was solid, solid. Hey, but this has been an awesome episode. Of Characterized it. Follow Matt Duncan up. Hit him up. Go cliff diving with this motherfucker. Dude. I'll see y'all next time. Hell yeah! Text me. I will cliff jump with you. I don't. I promise you. Hell yeah! <laughs> hey, send it. <laughs> send it. Dude. Hey, that was good, bro. That was really good. Like I really. Uh, most most people I interview that are under like twenty one, it's it's pretty dry. You know, but like you, you were great. That was that was an awesome conversation. I'm glad to hear it, man. Thank you for having me on, man. Yeah, no worries, bro. I'll let you know when it's gonna be posted. By the way, if you ever want a cliff jump, let me know. I'm I'm down south, but uh, if I'm up there, I'm from Maryland. So if I ever go up there, people, I I might end up in New York one day. So I'll hit you up. Hit me up, dude. (laughs) All right, man. Peace out. The most prestigious network in the land, the Signature Series Network.